Have you ever wondered where you could retire comfortably on just 1,000 USD per month? If yes, then you're in the right place. The idea of retiring abroad is not only exciting but it could also be a great financial move. Today we're here to explore about Philippines, how you can live out your golden years without breaking the bank, so sit back and relax. Join us as we explore these budget-friendly retirement haven. If you're looking for a warm place where you can easily get by speaking English, the Philippines may be a good choice. This country has gained popularity among the retiree community in recent years. You might settle in the capital of Manila, which has everything from hospitals to shopping and entertainment. Or you could choose Cebu, an island province popular with expats. Before furthermore let me know your thoughts about Philippines, and if you're in Philippines let me know your experience. Now first let's see how to get your visa in Philippines. To retire in the Philippines with a valid visa, you may have to jump through a few hoops, but we'll walk you through the process step by step. First, you need to obtain a variety of the Special Resident Retirees Visa SRRV. Its most attractive option is the classic option. To qualify for one, you have to meet the following requirements. Be at least 50 years old, deposit at least 10,000 USD into a Philippines bank if you have guaranteed monthly income, covers you and two dependents. Deposit 15,000 USD for each additional dependent. Have proof of pension that pays at least 800 USD a month, 1,000 USD for couples. The good news is that pension can refer to most sources of retirement income including social security benefits. The one-time visa application fee is 1,400 USD for the head of household, plus 300 USD for each additional family member. You also have to pay an annual fee of 360 USD to renew it. This fee covers you, your spouse, and one child. You also have to pay 100 USD for each additional child if you have any. In addition to your visa, you must obtain an Alien Certificate of Registration ACRI card with a microchip containing biometric data. It also contains your fingerprints. This card serves as your re-entry permit along with your valid passport with a visa stamp. It costs 50 USD and you must renew it each year. Another most important thing is taxes if you have income source other than pension. The tax code in the Philippines is particularly friendly to expats. Resident aliens are taxed only on income they get from sources within the Philippines. The rates vary depending on what type of income you receive. The Philippines government classifies income as compensation, income subject to final tax and other income. Compensation is basically paycheck income, which is taxed at a rate ranging from 20% to 35%. Income subject to final tax is typically passive income. The maximum rate for this is 20%. Again, this applies only if you work in the Philippines. If you plan to take a full retirement, the Philippines government won't tax the income you receive from a pension, 401k, individual retirement account, IRA, or other type of retirement plan. Now let break down cost of leaving and see how you can spend 1,000 USD per month. Living in the Philippines, your 1,000 USD could go far. Obviously, there are plenty of houses for rent throughout the Philippines, a small house in Manila might set you back to a minimum of $600 per month, which is going to eat into the budget quite a bit. So if you want to be living in the Philippines for 1000 USD per month or less, you need to be getting away from the capital city. You can rent a centrally located one-bedroom apartment in cities such as Davao City, Baguio, and Dumaguete for about $250. A one-bedroom apartment in the center of Cebu, one of the most developed provinces in the Philippines, can be rented at an average of $510 per month. Not that Cebu is particularly off the beaten track. Cebu City boasts five-star hotels, casinos, shopping malls, golf courses, and sandy beaches. If you're prepared to save further costs, you can rent a room in a house. A room with a shared bathroom in a location like Dumaguete City in the province of Negros Oriental, can be had for as little as $150 per month. But don't think you'll be living in a flea-infested backward city at this price. Dumaguete City is one of the fastest-growing cities in the Philippines and is known as the University Town, as it has seven universities and colleges. Home to around 115,000 people, the city also offers nearby whale and dolphin watching and excellent beaches. Dumaguete City is fast becoming a prime location for expat retirees in the Philippines. It has a large number of medical clinics, good city amenities, and a laid-back lifestyle. If you want a less urban environment, you might consider living in Subic Bay. A small furnished studio in Subic Bay can start from $300 a month, depending on the area and amenities. So we can tick off housing, 
you can find accommodation cheap enough to allow you to live for less than $1,000 per month in the Philippines. Next, it is on to groceries. If we are living in a rented room, we have around $850 of our $1,000 budget left. Starting with the essentials, a pack of cigarettes will set you back around $2 and a 1-3 liter of San Miguel beer for $2.10. So to live a typical expat lifestyle of two bottles of beer each night costs around $1.130 per month. We are down to $1.620. Next, on to the secondary products such as food. Let's say you use half a liter of milk per day, three liters of bottled water per day, breakfast on two boiled eggs, buy a kilo of rice every three days, and usually eat out every lunchtime and evening at a local roadside stall, something like sizzling pork cheeks or tapsalog, beef fried rice and eggs and you obviously get through a kilo of coffee a week, average cost for a month would run to around $1.350. So a month's worth of groceries plus accommodation costs would still allow you to live on less than $1.1000 per month in the Philippines. We're now down to the final dollar, $270. A 5-kilometer taxi ride costs around $1.64, so you can either go on an 823-kilometer taxi ride with the rest of your money, or splash out $1.40 on Brazilian wax and head for the beach with a sizable chunk of cash in your pocket. You can see from the figures that living on less than 1,000 USD per month in the Philippines is possible if you choose your location carefully. Obviously, you won't be saving an awful lot of your cash, but then the sun will shine and the beach is free. Let me know your thoughts in comment section and hit bell icon to get more videos into your feed. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.